good morning to you. Okay, what we're doing in this video, we're going to do um, two problems. Um, the practical problems. Here we have a shape called an ellipse, which is a little bit like a circle, but has been stretched in one direction. And the formula for the area of an ellipse is A equals pi AB. Notice that if B and A were the same, making it a circle, that would just turn into A equals pi R squared, or pi A equals pi A squared. So effectively, it's just an extension of the formula for the area of a circle. Okay, our job is to make B the subject. And once we've done that, to find the value of B for these values of area and small a. Okay, let's go ahead and start by writing down the formula. A equals pi times A times B. So the only operation we have in here is multiply. And the inverse of multiplying is dividing. And because we're just multiplying all three of them, I can divide both sides by pi A. So I don't need to divide by pi first. And then by A, we can divide by the product pi a. Okay, those divide out. That leaves b, which I'll write on this side, and the expression, the answer, on the right side. Okay, so there's our formula for b. Next step is to uh, substitute b equals, in place of a, I write 50 in place of little a, I write 9, sorry, excuse me, backspace on that one, I write pi times 9, and I get out my calculator, and to three decimal places, I will get b equals 1.5. 768. You, want to, you might want to check that on your calculator. Make sure you can do that. And if I round it off to two decimal places, 1.7, <clears throat> because there's an 8 in the thousandths place, that means that goes up to a 7. And I get 1.77, and the units are centimeters. So basically, rewrite the formula substitute and evaluate. Okay, I'd like you to try this one, please. Um, so get out your exercise book or a piece of paper, write down the formula, uh, make R the subject, and once you've done that, substitute the values given in part B. Okay, away you go. Okay, let's see how you went. B equals pi r squared h. So we write down the formula. Now if you look over on the right hand side at the order of operations, when we're solving equations or rearranging formulas, first thing we do is undo any adding or subtracting. Well, we don't have any over here. The second thing we do is we undo multiplying and dividing. So a need to keep the r squared on this side. So I'm going to divide. And once again, um, I can divide by both pi and h. They'll both cancel out or divide out. And divide the right-hand side by pi h. The pi's divide out. The h's divide out. And that leaves me with, on the left-hand side, v over pi h. On the right hand side it leaves me with r squared. And finally the way we undo um, squaring is we take the square root. Oops, I just got the edge of the... didn't realize I could change it. We take the square root. Square root and squaring cancel out. And that leaves me with r equals. 
the square root of v over pi h. Okay, let me quickly go ahead and work that out. I forgot to get up, do it on my calculator earlier, so it's going to take me a little bit of time. In place of v, I write 300. In my denominator, I write pi times 20. Okay, just give me a sec to punch this into my calculator. So, hit the clear button. And the first thing I need is the square root. Inside of that, I put a fraction, 300 on top, pi times 20 in my denominator. And that gives me 2.185. So I've got um, r equals, let me just put a line there, r equals 2.185. Eight, five, and once again I want to round the two decimal places so I circle the third decimal place because that's five or bigger that rounds up to a nine and I get 2.19 centimeters okay so there's a couple of uh, word problems that require us to change the subject of a formula and then substitute some values in Okay, go ahead and try some of those from your textbook.